Hey everybody, this is everything I spend in a week as a 20 year old in Los Angeles. So this video is filmed from last Monday to this Monday. So it's February 21st to now February 28th. So let's get started with the first thing I bought. I just am doing laundry and each load is around like $4 total, including the dryer and the washer. I never really pay for laundry because in my past apartments, it was included, but it could be worse. Still not happy about it though. All right guys, so I'm, I'm at Manhattan Village, which is like a shopping area near my house. I'm getting some stuff like tea because my, my throat is really hurting, but I wanted to let you guys know that I just got a bill. So I got charged $69.98 for my Apple Card bill. Which basically, if you guys don't know, I paid for my phone with my Apple card just because I didn't want to pay it in full and there's no interest. But today was the bill, so I just did that. So on Monday the 21st, I spent $160.20 on everything. So on Tuesday, it was 2 2 2 2, two. like that was the date. So I felt very in tune with my spiritual self. I actually had therapy on this day. So therapy cost $150 per session. I also got DoorDash. The total was $18.91. I don't know why, but after therapy, I just don't want to cook. I feel really emotionally drained um, in a good way, but I just can't cook for my life when I'm in that mental state and I can't cook in general. So I got DoorDash. I also, this is not listed, but I also just got notified. I got a couple transactions that I was billed. So I had my chiropractor bill, which is $19 a month. It's called the joint and I get an auto subscription. And I also got an Apple store transaction for $5 and 41 cents for an app. I have no idea what I got billed for. So on Tuesday, I spent $193.32. All right, let's move on to Wednesday. So on Wednesday, I went to the FanJoy headquarters. My friend Karu is the head of talent there. So I spent $13.50 on parking. I could have gotten validated, I just forgot, but whatever, I wanted to visit the offices. I had a meeting there. And then I had some dinner with some friends um, because it was a birthday party. I did not pay for dinner. So that was Wednesday. I spent basically $13.50. The only money I spent was parking. So Thursday was kind of a weird day. I did not feel super hot. So I got DoorDash. I got uh, Mendocino Farms. I got like a grilled cheese sandwich and some soup. I was just feeling like eating some comfort food. I was not doing so good. But um, I also got gas, which is not shown. It was $33.21 for half a tank. Literally gas is $5 per gallon right now in Los Angeles, which is insane. But um, I got half a tank because I didn't want to spend a full tank because it's going to be like 60 bucks here. And I also got billed my Spotify monthly subscription, which is $10.84. So that puts the total of Thursday at $65.79. So Friday was kind of interesting. I basically went to Big Bear to snowboard with my boyfriend's friends. It was pretty expensive. Had to pay for the rentals and the ski lift. All right, guys, it is Friday. Me and Zane. <laughs> How is snowboarding? Phenomenal. I'm learning fast. <laughs> yeah, he is. We just went, got our snowboard, hit the mountain. How much were the boards? Maybe like $60 for rental for both days. Yeah. And then it was 110 just for this afternoon. Yeah, so it was like 110 day. plus 60, which is around like 170, which is quite expensive, honestly, for... Uh, I don't know. I was saying it wasn't that bad. I don't know, but yeah, we're taking a day off work to go snowboarding. So what me and my boyfriend do when we buy things is we don't really split things. We just kind of like pay each other every other time. So I actually didn't buy the ski lift or the rentals. Um, I got the dinner for us, which was $58.33. So that's how we kind of do the payment stuff if you guys were curious. Good morning, everybody. I'm in Big Bear. Day two, it's Saturday, and I just woke up. It's kind of cold as fuck here. So I'm getting some tea, some Starbucks, and... Here you go. Oh, thank you. So I got two croissants and two teas because my boyfriend's sick. So um, the total comes out to $50 for brekkie. So for Saturday, again, we had to pay for the rental and the ski lift, which is like 
$280 total. And I actually bought pottery lessons for my boyfriend and I for next week, which is $120. So I actually didn't pay for the ski lift. My boyfriend paid for that. So I basically count that whole transaction as me paying for pottery equals me paying for the ski lesson. That's kind of how we do things around here. I also paid for lunch and uh, some drinks. So lunch was around $20. $4.50 and drinks were $12. So that put the total for Saturday at $159.25. I hope that makes sense. All right, Sunday. So I had a meeting in El Segundo, Manhattan Beach area. I just got back from a coffee meeting with Zachary. Um, he's gonna be one of our developers for my project NF Treehouse. And you guys don't even know how excited I am and nervous for NF Treehouse to launch. Um, March 19th is the launch date. We're gonna put up um, a link if you guys wanna join the wait list. And that will enable you to be the first to know when you can mint your NFT and get your own tree. Yeah, if you wanna see a whole video on what NF Treehouse is, I'll link it below as well. And yeah, I don't know, it's such a beautiful day in LA. Like literally, the sun is out. I lost my voice. But um, I might wanna do like a walk or something. Um, Sundays are usually like my errand day. I would like do laundry or try to clean up my place. I really want to go outside and stuff, but I have so much work. So we will see what the plan is for the Sunday. The coffee was like 10 bucks. Then I went to Ralph's later that afternoon for dinner and I spent $25 and 45 cents on frozen pizza and salad, which was so expensive. I also got chips and drinks and stuff, but anyways, I spent $35 and 45 cents on Sunday and Monday, which is today, I went on a hike. So I just finished hiking and I just got a matcha and a croissant sandwich from Lazy Acres, which is like a grocery market. I wanted something nice and nutritious for breakfast. This is not so nutritious, but this apparently has lion's mane in it, which gives you a bit more focus and productivity. This was $5 and this was $8. So breakfast was total 13 bucks. So today I spent a whopping $1,193. Um, typically with like big bill days, like I will spend the most I will ever spend in the week. So let's give a big drum roll for the total I spent in a whole week. Are you ready? So this week I spent $1,878.24. Oof. Oof, this was, you know, this was a great week for some reason to make this video because I spent so much just because it was like a really big bill week. On top of that, I had like random transactions I had no idea I paid for. Like apparently I spent $40 on Facetune and $40 on Breathwork. So the actual total became $1,975.97. I spent like some mindless shit, but for the most part, most of the money was meant for food. I always like to break down percentages for um, each thing. Like I don't like to just say I spent $100 on this. Like I like to break it down. If you're curious, I actually write everything down in this notebook. Um, it's called The Master Planner by Asia Dang. She's a YouTuber around finance and I really, Really like this journal it's like 50 bucks but it's like completely worth it anyways um i spent last week 15 percent of my budget on food six percent on experiences five percent on shopping like gas and sephora and stuff and then 73 percent on bills so most of the expense actually this week was on bills so i'm actually looking at 800 dollars of expensive if i were just to take out bills so yeah i hope that breakdown was helpful if you guys were curious on like how i spend my money most of it is on food if i would say like other than bills it's on food um just because that's how i like to spend my money that's how i personally go about life so that's how i enjoy spending my dough anyways i hope this video is helpful or somewhat insightful you do not need to spend this much money if you were living in la when i was first living in la i couldn't even afford it so i was sleeping on a couch at a friend's house so um <laughs> definitely if you guys want to watch other financial planning videos i will link them below hopefully this will inspire you guys to um Spend money on what you value. This is not a video on how to save money for a house because I'm not good at that. But this is a video about spending money on what you care about, tracking it and being mindful of it. I think you're allowed to spend whatever that you feel makes you happy as long as it's valuable to you and you know it's an investment to yourself. I used to feel terrible at spending money on myself. I used to feel like I was guilty. Like I would rather spend money on other people than myself. And I realized that's such a flawed thinking. You should always invest in yourself because you are worth everything. Like you're worth having a nice place to live and having a safe space to sleep and do work and stuff. So if that means spending $300 a week on food and Postmates, 
that's okay. This is all my personal expenses. Nothing in this video is about like business expenses of how much I pay people. If you guys want that video, let me know or how I pay taxes. I can also do that video. And yeah, shout out to the comment winner. I will see you guys in another video and bye.